All right. So, I have been enjoying gaming and everything on this TV. And this TV still holds up as being the best value premium TV that you can get for a really, really good low price point. Now, this is the 65-inch of the TCL QM8, a 2023 TV, and right now, it just went back on sale for another $300 off, and for as good as the picture quality and the gaming performance that you do get with this TV, you literally can not beat the 65-inch size of this for only $900, for especially being a non-OLED like TV like we're talking like contrast is almost pretty much identical to an OLED and you get really good inky blacks and as well as really good local dimming whereas some a lot of TVs that do have local dimming also is like mediocre and sometimes is just not that good overall and you're going to get so much blooming that you're just you know like you're just going to be like wow this just this doesn't look good but that's different with this tv but like i mentioned this is the tcl q m8 a 2023 tv and this tv is remarkable as you're seeing we are on our playstation 5 right now and we started playing as you're seeing the Last of Us Part 2 remastered for the PS5 that also just came out. And as you're seeing right now, we have literally the latest four gaming consoles, the you know newest and latest 4K gaming consoles. As you're seeing, we have an Xbox Series X and a PlayStation 5. And I know you're probably wondering, like, why do we got a monitor right there? Well, that's just that's just basically to store that monitor for you know just for right now at the moment but as you're seeing we got the playstation 5 the xbox series x and then we even have the xbox one x in the playstation 4 pro and honestly like gaming at 4k on this lovely beautiful tv is just really remarkable and like i mentioned the contrast is pretty almost identical to an oled now you still will see like some sorts of blooming but you're going to barely notice that the blooming is really even there like i'm telling you like it's just going to look incredibly good like an oled tv like you're basically not going to hardly notice the difference of an oled between this because of how good that the local dimming is and this tv does have around a thousand 80 local dimming zones just for this size being the 65 inch now if you go bigger you are going to have a lot more dimming zones to count but for the 65 inch having a thousand and eighty almost 1100 local dimming zones you really still can't honestly beat that now tcl has also announced its new tv lineup for 2024 and now the 7 series is going to be a mini LED and not just the 8 series. So the QM7 for 2024 when it comes out is going to be almost identical to this one. But the newer QM8 is going to be even better than this one. But honestly, it's going to be a lot more money as what I'm aware of than probably what this one is. So really, for the price that this TV, well, this version... QM8, the 2023 version, honestly, you really can't beat $900 for really good local dimming performance, awesome colors, really great contrast, and just overall great gaming performance. Now, what else makes this TV even better than OLEDs is the SDR and HDR highlights that absolutely pop on this TCL QM8, and if I was to say, yes, honestly, if you was wanting a new TV and you was debating on rather to wait for the newer 2024 versions of TVs, honestly, you're probably going to be better off just to get this one, the 2023 TCL QM8, because not only 
is TV's not going to get that much better than what they already are. I mean, yes, more local dimming zones and more higher peak brightness is absolutely like a deal breaker, but you can't go wrong for $900 for this version of the TCL QM8, the 2023 model, and it's still getting insanely bright at almost 3,000 nits of peak brightness. And like I mentioned, the HDR highlights, honestly, have never been this good on any TV from any TV brand I have ever seen. Like, yeah, the Samsung QN90B has really good HDR brightness and highlights, and as well as the Sony X90K that we also own. And even Samsung's QD OLED S95B 2022 TV. But no HDR highlights and bright, spectacular highlights have never been as good as the TCL QM8. So honestly, the, the TCL QM8 right now for $900 for the lowest, you know, the smallest size, which is 65 inches, which is really not small at all. You honestly cannot go wrong with the 2023 QM8 TCL TV. Like, you are just going to be that impressive, even for, like, just a casual gamer or casual movie watcher, or even to an extent, you being a hardcore gamer like us, having the latest, you know, greatest and newest 4K gaming consoles, such as even if it's a PS4 Pro, in an Xbox One X, and even the PlayStation 5 and Series X that you're seeing right down there, you absolutely can not beat the TCL QM8 for the picture quality that you get, the gaming performance, and just the overall performance in general for the price that it is, especially for a 65-inch size. Like, yes, like, it might not be an OLED, but let me tell you something... It's basically almost as good as an OLED, but with some advantages such as extra higher peak brightness and HDR highlights. So honestly, if you was looking at a new TV, and especially if you are a casual or even to an extent a hardcore gamer, I still, in the start of 2024, I still recommend getting the TCL QM8. For right now, for $300 off, for $900 for the 65-inch size, you are not going to find a better deal than that. So in 2024, the TCL QM8 2023 TV is still our best and favorite TV for when it comes to value for the premium picture and the premium picture quality that you just overall get with this TV and the gaming performance that you also get with it. Now, Hisense has got some nice TVs too, like the UAK, but the TCL QM8 does have a few legs up when it comes to having gaming features and just a game bar that lets you pick different picture presets while gaming. So, yes, if I was you and you wanted a nice premium-like TV, but for a very good low price... Yes, the TCL QM8 is a no-brainer. So, if you was thinking about getting this TV, and if it was a good one or not, definitely get it, because you are going to love every single minute of it, no matter if you're a casual movie watch, or a casual gamer, or a hardcore gamer, you are going to like this TV for every minute that you have with it. So, yes... Is the TCL QM8 still worth it in 2024? Honestly, 1,000% definitely is, especially for the price. So that's going to pretty much do it for the video. So I hope you all enjoy this. If you could, hit that like button. Also subscribe if you are new to this channel, and we will be sure to keep you posted with more content like this going forward. And... If you are wondering, you can leave us a comment down in the comment section down below if you want to basically get more answers on some other TVs or if this TV did actually help you out. Well, not TV, but you get what I'm saying. Like, if this video helped you out on deciding rather or not to get this TV. So, yeah, just leave us your thoughts down in the comment section down below 
hit that like button if you enjoy this video and subscribe if you are new and without further ado this is tech and gaming reviews and we will see you on the next one